Welcome back to the Bay. Welcome back to the basement yard. Frankie, stop! <laughs> stop chewing. <laughs> stop chewing like that in the, you in the microphone. You scared me. You scared me. Good. Why? You don't like my chews? No. This is like rule one. Rule one. Of, You're not supposed of, to eat. Of podcast. Of podcast. Of podcast. You're not supposed to eat on the fucking podcast. What about this? This isn't an ASMR fucking... People would fucking go hard to that shit. you imagine how wet people would get if I was just like, you know, here's my beard? Some people would. You ever get like dandruff in your beard? I'm sharing too much, aren't I? You're, that's enough. Um, this is our New Year's episode. It's our New Year's episode. <laughs> <laughs> what the? First of all, why did you come to our New Year's episode looking like you just are fresh out of Alcatraz? <laughs> I look like I, I was in Shawshank Redemption. You definitely were. I was on that roof. You definitely were. You're, you and you, you also like you tie up your hands with fucking towels, like little like hand towels, and you're like, "Hey, come on, let's do this." You've had better ones than that. I, you know what the fuck was that? It's not. I, I'm not starting. I actually. For this episode, I got myself a little boy slave, mm-hmm. a little hot boy slave. You did. Uh, I figure we can use some uh, some champagne. Since it's the New Year's it's Eve the episode. It's the New Year's. The New Year's is coming. It's a weird New Year's. So, I mean, it's w- the next time you guys see us, other than now, it will be 2020. 2021. 2021. How do you say that in Spanish? I. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 2021. James. James. Everything is calling Jace. Yes. Oh, oh wow. It's coming out. That's fucking hot, dude. I, like I look hot. All right, boy slave. Come on. Ugh. Come on, boy bitch. <laughs> Something so sexy about calling grown men bitches. Shut What's the up? fuck up. Huh? Ooh. Boy bitch. He's a sassy one. Okay, thank you. There he is. You pay me 3% and I can finally hire myself a, a, a slave. A boy slave. Oh, oh, some champagne. A champagne. Can you pop that open for us? Uh, oh, we'll see. Keith's here for the fucking New Year's Eve. That's episode. right, baby. It's the, a party. The pop. Oh. It's party, party, party. That's filled with snow. Oh, oh, a New lot. York snow. A lot of snow. Can we yeah, take that off? That New York snow. Can we put? You're gonna eat that? No, eat it. No, eat it. I'm eat not it. gonna eat what it. Are you eat doing? it. Give me more. Give me more what? Money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you already fucked up by taking all oh, of Oh, wow. Okay, good. Why? That, that was a good. That was a good. You can't do this? You You're supposed it. to not take it all off. But it's, it's okay. Why can't I take it all off? You can take it There's off. There's like a line in there that you pull it. Why you. are you taking this off the table and putting it on? Well, because it can stay it's in a there. wire mesh? Oh, boy. This is going to get dangerous. Have you ever opened champagne before? No. <laughs> I was you... never the cool kid to spray people. Do you know what you're doing? Do I take this off? Off? Well, that's you, up so to you. So you legitimately never opened. Anything We're not going to give it. you any direction. Yeah. We just hope that it doesn't. Just work don't out. point it at any of us. Yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest. You probably should be at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you shaking? Shut the fuck up, Frank. Are you? I oh. thought you were like. We got the fuse. <laughs> okay. It's like the hurt save locker. That, save that for later. Yeah. Yeah, pop it. Pop it. Are you just trying to like... You look like a pirate. Yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, that scared the fucking piss out of me. Why did you scream? <laughs> I screamed too. That fucking scared me. <laughs> oh, my contact. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Where'd it go? No, I flipped. Okay. That was great. He just throws all the snow onto the ground near the electronics. <laughs> it's not my house. <laughs> I just spit everywhere. <laughs> well, oh, wait, I need the cups. I got a pour. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hot start. You have no idea right, what you're let's doing. Pour these little fuckers. This is gonna be over. For- <laughs> Look at. <laughs> Look at you. Oh, shut the fuck up. Okay, stop. Keith, you have. What a pour, Keith. You are the most shaky. Yeah, what's wrong with you? Do you have like fucking jaundice? Yeah, you look. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't think those two things line up. Don't, yeah, me neither. Wait, Can, there's not enough. In yeah, I need now. some more in there. We need more, dude. You are like your this, boy needs to drive this home. This is what I. This is what I look like when I'm trying to pour during an earthquake and I'm having <laughs> diabetic shock. Keith, have you drank water in the last four years? <laughs> Yeah, you guys are just gonna fall. Oh! Whoa. Whoa. I was gonna have that, and now yeah. I can't because it touched your beard, and I'm not really sure where that's been. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might as well drink that because you know that we're not. Yeah, can I have that? Hey, hey Joe. Yeah. Let's cheers well, to like. You don't some have s- a drink though. 
Do you have oh, to? Oh, he got the. No, I brought my own. Right. He's got a bottle that he just fucking torched. That's true. Oh, oh, he's got a nice beer boy. Oh, he's, he's he is a beer boy. He's a beer boy. Oh, yeah. He's my beer boy now. I don't know. I don't. The know world that. is the world is better because Keith is my. Look at you! Look at you! You're fucking shit all over his head. Turn your head. Turn your head. Dude, Why that beer put its sound? pussy on your sideburns. <laughs> Why don't you hear the sound? Oh wait, fuck. Sorry. We're cheersing. Clean up. Cheers. 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 Yes, Keith, uh, you have it. I almost said with one. <laughs> okay. Clean it like the body of Christ. Let me, let me get in there. You're gonna have to. T- Get get, this done let again. me clean that. Can, can he not rub my <laughs> fucking junk? Mm. I got his junk. You can say cock on the show. Yeah, oh, I can. Cock. Penis. <sighs> Balls. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> what are we choosing to? Are you going to choose? 2021. 2021. 2021. 2021. New beginnings. B- uh, old ends. Is that a... <laughs> burnt ends. Burnt ends. Burnt ends. Burnt ends. Burnt ends. Burnt ends. <laughs> Cheers. Are these real crystal, by the way? If I do this. Real <laughs> All right, Cheers. That's crisp. That is. <laughs> Are you? What? You have the loudest throat <laughs> I've all, ever heard in my life. Why is your throat on fucking like the THX system? Why are you sipping, bitch? <laughs> Full disclosure, it's 10:30 a.m. <laughs> For you uh, look like you fucking pig. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, we're gonna have to call the CDC. Though, right? <laughs> you so called it. Fucking hit call up. the CDC. What's the number for the CDC? Well, it's seven two eight. I missed. <laughs> Got it. Mama's empanadas. That looked like. Oh, <laughs> good Mama's empanada. That um, looked like that was so painful for you. No, I was good. Yo, you, you were like, your throat was screaming. I don't <laughs> know if you heard that. It's Boom. Like, <laughs> go, like if I was eating ro- huge rocks, yeah. that's what it would sound yeah, like. Yeah, you sounded like you legitimately had like a fucking party going on in your throat. Throat party. That sounds like <laughs> that sounds like a fun fun time. That's a, that's like a porn thing probably. Throat party. Throat party. Google it right now. I mean, yeah, I'll do it. I'll type it into Pornhub. Just no, just type it into regular. No, hub. no, no. We're going to pub. Google. We're going to pub. We're going to the pub. I wouldn't mind. This kid has another beer. What is this? What happened? LIC or beer pro LIC beer project. Oh, send me free beer, please. They won't. I know. Throat party. <laughs> the first thing that comes up is DJ Cools. Let me clear my throat. Oh, that makes sense. That's, a good song. That's the opposite of a throat party. That's this a, is good. This is not bad. It's, it's a little sweet. sweet. It's, no, it's very sweet. sweet. It's very yeah. sweet. That one. It's a little sweet for my it liking. Out of the <laughs> <laughs> I like extra brute. What does that mean? Dry. Oh, you okay. like dry? Yeah. I like my, I like my. Not the dry uh, guy. I like my drinks like I like my women. Dry and they hate me. <laughs> what the fuck? Um, so how you been, Keith? Yeah, also, we're... can we get a look-see at that shirt underneath your, my suit jacket? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why is that like 40 times too big? Self-made lucky. All the beers in the way. Do you want to, do you want to explain what any of that means or no? I, it, it doesn't fit me, so I know I can't even explain Did it. Did you buy that? I think mom did. Gotcha. We'll have she, her on. She needed me to have a boost of confidence. <laughs> can, you, can you give your mom a call so I can ask her what the fuck? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. We'll, we'll call her after this. Where have you been? Working. Oh, that's right. No one works like Keith. Mm-hmm. Nobody. Yo, honestly, yo, oh, well, I don't know if you know I'll be able to hang out. hours I last week? I won't be able to hang out at 4 a.m. because I have to work. <laughs> like, all right, Keith. I worked 10,000 hours last week. Yeah. And then the most generous person, like, the most generous person with money I've ever met, too. I don't care. You want it? Take it. <laughs> Something came out your nose. Uh, it's called schnapp. Ill. What? That honestly, my heart stopped yeah. for a second. Like I have palpitations. Do you? That's something real. You might want to get checked. I smell every fucking no, yeah, hop smells of that just beer. Like, this is a good <laughs> beer. <though. laughs> yeah, good that beer. does smell good. Can yeah. I smell it? Put my fucking nose to it. I won't like. You can have some. Corona on it. No, I don't want to. So I, for this episode, I gotta drive home later, dudes. You'll be fine. So. As he takes a sip of a twelve percent, I'll go get some. Do you have orange juice? Yeah, I do actually. Why did you just? We could. We Why didn't we figure the mimosa? It, it was a. It's a mimosa you know time. You don't mimosa on on New Year's unless it's a bottle. The morning sponge. after you mimosa. That's true. No, you don't. No, I'll you be don't. dead by then. You do you think so? I don't know if I'll be doing. I don't. First of all, don't think I'm doing anything for New Year's this year. Well, I don't think anyone is. It's yeah. kind of wild, dude. This fucking year just like was like, yo, everyone likes to hang out. Nope. Yeah, I don't know no what I'm gonna do. Fuck you. My, it just, we're gonna go to probably your house. Well, 
here. Yeah, we could record a podcast. Wow. I wish I need to record a drunk podcast. I haven't done one of those in a long well, time. Well, we should do that for Patreon. We get dirt wolves in here and we just like oh, go no. crazy. The return of no, the... what about Mad Elves? They're, the fuck is they're that? They're 12% beers. No. Keith, it's, it'll be past Christmas. What about return? the return of the dirty bitches? Yeah, it was like Raging Bitch and Dirt, and Dirt Wolf, Wolf mixed I mean, together. It's two beers that you're not supposed to mix together, but oh, then yeah. you do. Yep. And then... I'm pretty sure that's why they don't like Is it like a dark, dark lager type shit? It, they're both heavy IPAs, I think. Whatever it is, it made us... Very drunk. Dark. So should blackout. we go back to Jamba Juice and uh, Four Locos? Jamba Juice? You mean Jungle Juice? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Let's go back to say, Froyo and we go to 16 <laughs> Handles over here. <laughs> Juice. You guys did, Oh did no, you, no 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 the thing that was just juice it was J O Speaking of the mic J O O S E No 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 it's Ju- jungle juice Jungle juice is, is what you're talking yeah. about and four locos I remember I had two four locos on a on a party bus once and I thought I was on Coke gang. Dude, do you remember do you remember when we had them in Connecticut? Yeah, I was scared. And I was fucking we almost started a forest fire. No, you almost started a forest yeah. fire. You were there. And I had to pee on it. Joey we picked put up it out. a burning piece of wood with his bare hands because he said he was a fire he said relax guys i'm a fireman dude i had i had uh, in- i wasn't <laughs> no one was relaxed and, and then i'm he, not a and fireman then, and then he proceeded bit. to piss on the fire <laughs> well what, i did my part when i was in sophomore year it was right before four locos got recalled and i had one so my my, my friend melissa she was like oh go to my fridge i have a bottle of powerade in there and i thought she meant like i can mix that as a mixer because I had a bottle of rum in my room. So I went and I got a fucking... I got the bottle of Powerade and I mixed it with Bacardi. Bacardi like peach or some fucking stupid shit. And I was so fucking like... Like I wasn't drunk. Mm-hmm. I was on a different plane of existence. <coughs> in your throat. <coughs> in your throat. Whoa, shit. I was like seeing shit. <laughs> I fucking remember it as clear as day. You know like when you're like <laughs> oh, looking... Oh yeah, everything's clear as day with this kid. It is clear as day. Uh-huh. You know when you look this way and you see there's like the little eye guy and then you look that way and he's like, I'm here too? I saw that, but Wait, like a huge one. What the fuck just happened? What did you just say? You know what I'm you talking about. You have imaginary about. friends? What's All right, no, no, no. Look at the wall. Uh-huh. All right, focus. Uh-huh. Now look to the right. Yes. You see that little guy? No. There's a little eye guy. Yo, I want to be I want to be very clear. No. Yeah. <laughs> No, I don't know what you're talking you know, about. They know well, what I'm talking about. You're fucking it up by calling it an eye guy. It's eye guy. What is it? It's I just don't know. Like a, it's like an eye guy. It's a dot. Yeah. I don't know. It's like a, but like mine was big. It was big eye guy. So when you get drunk, you have a bigger eye guy. No, only when I mixed four loco with Bacardi. Oh. It was fucked up. Oh, that's like an. Do you guys down. still have the the original can? You had that for the longest time. No, we know that. What, up. dude? That was like six years ago. First already, of all, longer than that. I already. Yeah. Did, I already <laughs> drank that. <laughs> no, I remember right before they got recalled, you guys went and bought like three. I, I was Great. still living at home, like sharing a room with Keith when we had that. So, yeah, so I would have had to have bought it. How bought yeah, it? If that's yeah. even a real sentence. <laughs> how was how was sharing a room with Joey? It was all right, for the most part. <laughs> With anything. Can't really complain. But and then it was me, Joey, and Thomas. That was when it was weird. <laughs> well, that was like when we were like fucking seven. Yeah, I was going to say that was way back. Can you move your mic so you talk into it and not to Frankie's face? All right. <laughs> but yeah, New Year's. New Year's, new times. Another year down, baby. No, another year down, 2020. I did come into this year saying that we would see a lot of things more clearly because 2020 vision. You said that? I To myself. I didn't say it out loud. You didn't. But I said it to me. Like don't, in my head. Don't tell people that. That's why I didn't. But now I'm. Now you did. Okay. Josh, edit that out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking champagne is busting oh, right I'm now. Super busting on a real one. <laughs> um, no, sorry. I have a couple of things though. Because this year sucked. It was this is already s- hitting. This is already hitting it pretty is, nice. Is it really? Bing, Keith. bing. Keith, I don't. I have a kid. Another one on the way. I don't fucking drink. He's not, no, I'm kidding. I don't <laughs> drink like I used to. Yeah, it's true. So now one little fucking glass of peep peep makes me feel like a little like loosey goosey. I guarantee Frankie in five minutes is gonna ask if I have cigars. Guaranteed. Oh but my anyway, God, if we started smoking cigars, <laughs> dude, I would smoking cigars in here would permanently damage the walls. Would First really? of all, you would fucking violate the terms of your lease, probably. Probably. <laughs> I would crush a cigar in here right now. No, um, but we I... should do like a recorded outside episode. Go ahead, tell me how stupid that was. That was so stupid, dude. <laughs> 
In the rain. <laughs> we should do it in the rain. I put together a list of things that I think we should leave in 2020 because it's a terrible year. Wow. And there's a lot of things that happened. Wow. just sucked. And I'm just like, I just, we need to get rid of this stuff. Yep. Uh, the first thing, pandemic related, uh, people who know people in the CDC. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, I love those. In the beginning of the fucking pandemic, when everything was going on, I kept getting text messages from people like, yo, I have a cousin who knows someone in the CDC, mm-hmm. and they said martial law is coming, <laughs> and everyone's gonna, no one's going to be able to be allowed to leave their bedrooms. Like, they're going to be in your living room holding you in your bed. It's like... Shut the Everyone, fuck yeah, up. Yeah, it was those it were those group texts that would always come through mm-hmm. and it would be like, "Yo, I have I know someone at the DOD, Department of Defense." <laughs> defense. <laughs> it's like, "No, you fucking don't." It's and like even if you on- do, like uh, you know who made this fucking Brent over in his basement and he just sent it out to every idiot that he knew. What would even be the purpose of creating a fake message like that? Dude, to be so hilariously comedic. Oh, dude, do you remember the fake messages where it's like these are the things you can't go to, and then you click on it, and it's just like a... That guy with the fat cock. We yeah. got that one the other day. Son. Does that guy have a name? He's dead. Is yeah, he yeah. dead? He, he is die, so yeah. dead, dude. Wow. Probably got a boner, lost all the blood to his I head. I was literally going to no, say that. No, apparently, I, who was I? I was, oh, Joe Rogan was talking about it. Um, oh, that guy's super dead. Well, you have to assume that he would have like... <laughs> He's super dead. No, because he, someone being that viral and famous like all the time, you would think that he would make an appearance somewhere. He died before he went viral. And apparently, like, his, like, fiance that was with him when he died said that, like, it was, like, upsetting to their family because he was just being spread like wildfire. I mean, Damn. dude, that's impressive. Like, if well, anything, that's... Not like, being dead. Being dead's not impressive. No, nah, he... he <laughs> He also I didn't did mean a, that. probably a fair share of spreading dude, while he was alive. that fucking dick? Will spread you open and kill you. Yeah. It was twice this mic in... Circumference. Everyone everything. has to know what we're talking about. How too. fucking much have you looked at this dick? I've, I've looked actually, at it a lot. I've, I've seen the only time. I've, the only I've thing seen it it's a not times. as thick is thick of is Frankie's eyebrows. Oh, you mm. nailed me. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking nailed me, Keith. Yeah. Um, but no, that guy. Pull the dick up. The di- I just got the dick the other day. Yeah, I, I know someone, you sent it to me. I, I did. I forwarded it to you because it was a it was a, a text that someone sent me and it said uh, it said New York Post. Critical care nurse from New York City who received first COVID-19 vaccine in U.S. falls into coma. So when you read that, super alarming. And then you click on the link, and it's a picture of this guy and his fucking anteater cock. (laughs) That thing is wild. Yeah. Would you hide drugs if you had foreskin? Like, would you hide things in your foreskin? Do you have foreskin? No. Oh, I've seen your dick. That's right. No, I don't don't think you Hello? What? Oh, Oh, you want to see I want to see his dick. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you act like you've never seen it. I've seen it once, and it was yesterday. Dude, so you have short That's term memory in your mind. I know. First dates, you, you don't remember shit from but yesterday? But you kind of... Oh, you did this. Dude, it's crazy. Dude, that is fucked Dude, it's up. it's a thigh. That's a thigh. That's not a real dick. Yeah, that's a thigh. That's that thing crazy. barks. It's also not... Dude, that's hard. that's not safe to be with. I mean, how much how much bigger can it get? It's It looks like it's soft there. Keith, yeah. you're a master of looking at dicks. No, I'm not. Got I don't think it's hot. Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> no, but yeah, so that's my first one uh, on that list was uh, people who know people in the CDC. Let's leave that in 20. Yeah, what the fuck? Like, no, you don't. Stop lying. Also, if you know anyone in like a government position or whatever, I don't care. And why the fuck are they going to tell their name? Hey, by the way, you know me in the CDC. Yeah. Get ready. It's like and then that's on. when people went out and bought every fucking box of Barilla pasta. <laughs> Pasta. It's like they went on the C, like Ancestry.com for CDC. What the hell does that even mean? Like it traced their whole family tree oh, to oh, find oh. somebody. <laughs> Answer. If you guys ever Sorry, do those, like smart twenty-three and me or whatever it is. No, or, I'm not twenty-three and me. You gotta like come in a vial and yeah, you send it to the government. Yeah. They tell you if you got like some African. Wait, that's in a you. thing. Yeah. They're like, oh, guess what? You're a, a one eighty-second German. Yeah, and it's like, oh, I'm actually 0.0% Slovakian. It's like, you, so you don't care. You're blowing a load into a vial. You're not really coming, Keith. Your okay. mouth coming. You're spitting. Yeah, you're spitting. Oh, into it's it. saliva. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So it's just saliva that you spit into this thing, and then you send it to a company, and they tell you, like, you know, oh, man. You, yeah, it turns out you're Scandinavian. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, I you know care. what? Being Scandinavian, do you know anyone that's Scandinavian? I think yes. we are a little scanned. A knave Ian. No, that because forehead is certainly Scandinavian. I don't get that. I don't either. Me either. All right. 
I'm we're just going to assume that Scandinavians have big foreheads. Giant ass foreheads. And uh, if you know the answer and you want to disprove that. They got that, fucking driveways. Do don't you, care. Are you able to tell like who watches this in different countries and stuff like that? Yeah. Are there any people in Scandinavia that watch? Why do you think I looked that up? Yeah. Uh, just, you know, to be, to fucking relate to it the just Scandinavians. just went someone you know what? Yinger dinger I don't know how many people from Scandinavia watch me. No, I have cool. no, I, I don't know. You don't have no clue. I don't even really know where it is. It's, to be honest, I don't either. It's by Greenland. <laughs> Definitely not. Iceland. Those are really far from each other. Are they? they? Let's look it up. I feel like it's, I feel you like know, Greenland they're, and Iceland they're like, like right next to each trip. other. Let's look up Scandinavia. If I'm right, holy shit, you're both fucking idiots. I don't know. I, no, I'm pretty you're sure an idiot because you just guessed. Is it not near Scandinavia? S- right next to Sweden. I was gonna say it's near Sweden. Right next to. It's not right next. Iceland. To. It's the closest thing besides the UK to Iceland. Look at that. Where's Scandinavia? Scandinavia. So it's close to Norway, dickhead. Oh, that's not a. It's not a country. It's a place. It's like a grouping. I guess it is a country. It's like uh, a city. I don't know what that is, but it's cl- it's very close to Norway. It's in Sweden. I feel like we should know this. Yeah, no. No, we shouldn't. I'll tell you one thing. Geography, not my thing. Oh, no. No, yeah, no, no. Yeah, but I love how this gets close to Iceland. It's like across a body of water. It. I mean, it is fairly close to Greenland and Iceland, Keith. Frankie, do you realize There's how far Iceland, that is? There's Iceland. There's Scandinavia. Yeah, maybe. Give me that. <laughs> Give me a dap. All right, I think I'm right. All right, whatever. All right, the next thing I have is um, toilet paper. Mm. You fold your nose every time you drink. <laughs> toilet paper. In 2020... Uh, I don't even use those. For some reason, the, the importance of toilet paper was just through the roof. Everyone was going crazy, and I don't understand why. I don't think wiping your ass... Like, if you have running water, you don't need toilet paper. Well, do you have a bidet? No. I had one at my old house in Astoria. I've never used one. Dude. I feel like I don't want to do it, though. Because you'll go gay. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's it's a different like. Listen, I'm not into ass play. Let me just say this: <laughs> how <laughs> how long did, how often did you use this bidet? Every time I would use the bathroom. Okay, so like for a full year, I had it for about a, uh, about I would say maybe like eight months before I moved out. So my only question when it comes to bidets yes. is that you know sometimes when I poop, big poop, right? My butt kind of opens. And like it's not really the same yep. as it normally would be. Now, when you go to clean something like that, is could it possibly be like one of those carnival games where it's like spraying and it's filling up your your colon, and then you got to pee? Your colon's afterward. up there, so if it gets your way to your colon, well, you know, like you're the, impressive, like the birth canal. Well, like the why male you, equivalent. Why are you Don't have your asshole right now because it's like right in there. Whatever that right in your sphincter. Ass. You touching no. your prostate now? Isn't a sphincter like the rim, the the it, part that's all like burnt up? It's, 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 <laughs> It's just gone. <laughs> the angry part of your ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, have, has it ever like gotten in? Of course it has. But then you gotta pee it out? I mean, so when you, do you wipe your butt after you spray? You, you always, you always wipe. So is it a soaking wet wipe? It's like, no, it's it's like, you know, it depends on like the way you want to go Water about it. hit your ass. What it's is wipe, it? Like it's gonna be dry? Wipe, 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 get everything you can, and then, you know, just flush out the system a little bit. So then you spray after a wipe, wipe, wipe. Yeah, so you spray. So you're technically, inadvertently giving yourself a little enema? Well, well I fully get in myself enema, so I know what it feels yeah, like. Yeah, he's gotten enema. Very different. Yeah, he's, he's I've, I've had an enema. It sucks. Dude, it I'm does. the only one it's on the show that's never got an enema. We got Sit on that bottle right, right now. No, 10,000 patrons, Joey has to do an enema. Yes! <laughs> I'll do that. 10,000 patrons? 10, we all, by the way, we hit... Joey does a fucking enema. Great fucking segue. We hit 6,000 on Patreon. Uh, uh, Patreon. 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 Thank you guys so much. Patreon.com slash the basement yard. Cheers to you, man. Um, you know, when you, Mrs. Go, when you sign up for our Patreon, you get every episode a week in advance. Uh, and you get an extra episode of The Basement Yard every single week, so we appreciate you guys. We just hit 6,000. We originally said that our goal was 5,000 by Christmas, and we fucking killed that. Killed it. Thank you so much. Let's go. Um, so, and Frank, you at- that 3%? 3? Fuck. <laughs> You're a lot more generous than someone... Some, someone some, uh, Shabba. Wow, that fucking champagne busting right now. <laughs> uh, but yeah, at ten thousand, I'll give myself an enema. But like, is there a safe one to do? Like, yeah, that- you can buy them from the store. They're just like saline. It's just meant to like clean your people. Pop, pop. Yeah, am I gonna like shit like? No, water? you're yeah. Yeah. Y- it'll clean you out. I can't put like salt water. Like up as there, soon though. as that's it what com- saline is. Okay. Oh. As soon as it comes in, it's flying out. You have to you have to get it in there and you got to hold it for like fifteen minutes and then I'm not doing this around you guys. Nor am I doing it on the show. Obviously, 
Just you, film it. You should. There's a fucking toilet right there. I'm not, We're not filming the actual going in. No. no you guys no. aren't going to watch me self-enema. You well, know how many people probably love that shit? First of all, you would make we would, we would make a lot of money if we did that, Joey. I, I would also <laughs> I would say this. I think that uh I think an enema would be is enemas enemas are dope? No. It's cleansing. For mine weren't because they were medically fucking prescribed. Yeah, right. but like mine weren't. Mine was more. Or mine less was like was white and milky, so it it not only felt like I was getting fucking cream pied, <laughs> but it also looked like it. <laughs> you had to enema white cream. It was like white medicine. Yeah, like a see, Boston cream donut. See, <laughs> like no, it wasn't thick like that. It was literally like milk. They're injecting like a kilo of cocaine into his ass. Sorry, get him out of here. It's because I'm Hispanic, right? Yeah, yeah it is. That's exactly why. You would make a good mule. <laughs> no, dude. He's got a good anal. We can cavity. get you. You can just go buy an enema. People do them when they like take drugs, like yeah. on like fucking party weekends and shit like that, just so like their body is like cleaned out. So wait, if I do an enema and I put some saline in my asshole, mm -hmm. like what does that mean? Like my, I'm just gonna shit a lot? You're, it's just gonna. It's gonna it's clean like, out. Like, yeah, it's gonna, well, gonna clean like you the out. Excess that you have in. All right, let's not talk over each other constantly on the show. All right, let right. someone finish a thought. Though. Go ahead. You're I'm just saying. In general, let someone finish a thought. And then we speaks. He's getting angry. This kid is a fucking like he makes money doing right. podcasts. Full fire piece of shit. Oh wait, you hired him? No. Oh, what you the did. Fuck what he hired. That's right, I hired him. <laughs> you hired him. <laughs> what are you paying him? Uh, enema juice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Enough to buy one enema per month. <laughs> but he's right. It basically just fucking cleans your system out, and um, you can get. You don't need like a special like you can get an attachment for your toilet. That's a bidet. No, I know. Like, there's some companies that make them. Oh, so, like, you don't even have to have it, like, built into the toilet? No. So, that, like, that's what we did. We we bought the attachment, and it, like, just sits in between the seat and the fucking actual bowl. That's dope. You silicone glue it on there. You fucking... How hard is the spray? It's a pretty hard spray, dude. Is it really? Does it have, like... Uh, is it like when I like put my thumb on the yeah, hose? Yeah, it's what? Pretty, it's pretty hard, dude. I'm serious. They spray that hard? Yeah. I mean, Joe... They, they need mind, pressure. Get, what if they're they just get fucking... They sticky shit off their cheeks, you know? He's not wrong. Sticky shit off your cheeks. Wait, what? What comes out of your butt? Yeah, what the fuck? Are you shitting pancakes? It's probably glue. Who knows? <laughs> That's sticky shit. I'm mean, weird shit. And they have a different <laughs> setting for if you're a woman and you're cleaning your pussy. Like a mist? <laughs> Wait, oh, yo, yo, honestly, what I was just about to say was so fucking stupid. Say what, yo, oh my God. Dude. Say it, say it. Because when you said that, right, like, I'm like, oh, yeah, when you take a shit, like, you just, like, whatever. And then, like, oh, they have a setting to, to clean their pussy. When you said that, I was just about to ask, like, what, they sit reverse on the toilet? <laughs> like, they, they sit on it like this, this way, and just... Hit the button. You probably could. It's not a button. <laughs> the one that I had was a dial, and there was there was two dials. There was one. You could crank it to eleven. You, dude, there was one. Crispy. <laughs> there was one that was temperature of the water, and there was another. Who wants cold water? No one. That's why you have a temperature gauge. The other one was well, to the right. It was for your. Sh to the right, it was your asshole, and to the left, it was a puss. And it was like on the. <laughs> Oops. On the back of the toilet, it was like a little like, like bar that came down, and it had two nozzles, and one would spray like directly upward for your asshole, and one would spray out a little bit, you know, like not as arched for the girls. For JJ, that's it. I'm gonna get you one. I'm gonna get you one. Do you think girls need that though? Apparently, like they wipe when they pee. Why else would they fucking do it? Well, yeah, I'm just saying, like it kind of. All right, so now it's like a. I actually. It's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's smart. Yeah. It's Instead not. of wiping fucking paper like, in your Because now it's puss. like wiping. You don't really get all the piss, and now it's just drying there. You know what I'm saying? Well, <laughs> I, again, welcome. First of all, <laughs> speaking the mic. Second of all. Nothing worse than a dry, pissed vagina. All right, but, but seriously, like, you can't just wipe it now and know you got 100% of it off. I think, now you're diluting everything, I think and if then you, you're wiping. It's like, it's like a vacuum. Like, you don't know. If you spill water and pee on the floor... You won't know you got it all until you vacuum it all up, you know? So maybe they If you they tried just... to clean up liquid with a vacuum, you're an idiot. No, they have wet vacs. No, you ha you put a bounty on that hoe. No, you wet vac. You can wet vac. Wet vac? You never wet vac No. Super Wait, hold on. on. You spill something. Honey, get the vacuum? No, like I've had like big old floods that like I've had a wet vac. Big old floods. Yeah, it's called a... A wet vac. Fucking... Yeah, you use them for like a pool and shit. Though. A wet vac. 
That's what they're called, guys. Yeah, but you use them for like a pool and shit. You don't use it for, I spilled some wine. No, 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 no. But I'm saying like if I had like a bucket of half water, half pee, only way to know it's not pee is get it all. You know what I mean? So maybe they like really dry it in there. I guess. Uh, all right, next. Uh, things that we should leave in, in 2020. We, that was all about toilet paper, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> things we should leave in 2020. Over the top gender reveals. Ah. Uh-huh. Because yeah. didn't they like start forest fires or Dude, something? Dude, yeah. so many. Wait, I don't even understand how that happens. It's like it explodes and like fucking like it'll be pink or blue. But uh, one of them malfunctioned. I forgot which, where it was. I think it was Arizona or something like that. And it malfunctioned in like a far, like in like a dry area. Literally just, it killed like 11 people. What? It got that big. Keith, talk into the fucking microphone. Yeah, why? You were leaning back on purpose. Yeah, they... they <laughs> <laughs> no, I, he's right. In, in, I think it was California. Was it? Ca- I thought it was California, like Arizona. Was it? But like they literally did it in an area where, God forbid, you drop a cigarette. All right, the whole thing's fucking going up. I did see one where it was like balloons, and the balloons like like were in the air, and they hit like power lines and like shut down the block <laughs> yeah. or something. But like this uh, this gender reveal that they had, um, I forgot exactly what was going on with it, but it malfunctioned and it just created a shit ton of sparks. Yeah. And literally just lit up everything. I think everyone should do a gender reveal if like, they're going to do one like you did. Like the way we did. Get a balloon, pop it, fucking confetti. Yeah. What is this like, oh, I, I like to deadlift, so I'm going to deadlift, and then it, they're going to explode and turn into... who? What, what? It's, get a cake it's, or get a balloon. It's now we're just we're making gender reveals to pander to fucking males, you know, yeah. the male gender's veining sense of masculinity. Yeah. So now it's like, oh, dude. Throw me a baseball filled with blue powder, and I'm gonna fucking rock it, dude. Yeah. And it's like, dude, just just like find out. I also, love the fails of that though. Oh, where it's like swinging a miss and it just hits the ground. It's like, oh baby. Dude, I guess. there was recently one where the guy like they gave him the ball like a basketball to like shoot in the hoop. Lean. He shot. Go, tell. Turn outside. <laughs> <laughs> he shot. He shot over the hoop, like over the backboard, hit the floor, and then it exploded. It was great. Yeah, that's what I would do. Dude, if you're not an athlete, what are you doing? Literally. It, like, it just, like, why do we need to, like, make everything a party? I guess that's fucking capitalism for us, huh? Everything needs to be <laughs> able to make money off of. Like, you can't just find out what the fucking baby is. And you need to make it a whole big, like, gender reveal. I need like, views, man. Let's just, I need like, likes. I need all that shit. Another party. Like, there's so many parties. It's like the baby shower, and then, like, the, the wedding, and then there's more showers for this shit. Yeah. And then it's like, well, the gender reveal, so now you get the baby another gift. And then it's, all oh, the baby's first birthday. And you know what the, the dad's doing the most all the whole time? He's drinking. Yeah. But, like... The whole time. It's that's just... what I was doing, I think. Yeah. But no, I, I'm with you on that one. Like, we need to just, just like dial si- it back. Just be simple again. Everyone's just trying to outdo the last gender reveal, and it's like, guys, just chill the fuck out. Like, let's just t- take it back to balloons and cakes. I do think that that's something that 2020 did teach us, in particular, is because like I think as 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 uh, I can't speak for the world, but the United States, Frankie, speak for the world. It's all fucking pomp and circumstance, dude. It is all like everyone is super pumped, like big parties, big reveals, ba 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 ba. You know, we have fucking millions of people in Times Square for Times Square for New Year's, blah, blah, blah. It's like, now, let's <laughs> fucking... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Let's just bring like it back. like a promo right now? Let's, let's just on. bring it back and remember, like, the small things are what counts. So small and intimate. No more blah, blah, blah. No more blah, blah, blah. Times like, Square, blah, blah, blah. But then, you know, like, you got people out there that are like, yo, I want to find out what my baby is. Let's fucking jump in a pool and fucking liquid, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, <laughs> none of that, like, matters, you know? It doesn't matter. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It doesn't matter. No, yeah, I understand. All right, next here we have... Oh, my God. Joey's going to have the biggest gender reveal when he has a kid. <laughs> no, he isn't. You know that, right? Yeah. Joey's going to be like, yo. It's going to be like fucking Yankee Whatever. Stadium when yeah. they're in the World Series. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the no, president no. is throwing out the first pitch. Whatever. It's actually a gender reveal. I, re- I, <laughs> I rented out the whole and Hudson like Yards. And 50 Cent when he threw the fucking ball. Okay, next. Oh, yeah. Uh, in 2020, let's leave behind whatever Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are doing. Yeah. Why are they always in the news? Where are they? Wait. They sus- What? You don't know who There's they are. No, I do. <laughs> what are you doing? Did they run away? Are you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually down. Oh, shit. I don't have a cup. Frankie's pouring a little bit of- Nope. He's pouring a lot of bit of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried this. This is really good. Let me- Oh, fuck. I can't do it out of the bottle. Try to do it in this. <laughs> No. Well, let me just call Becca and let her know I'm not going to be coming home. 
Honey, I'm staying out. Put it on Cheers. Speaker. I've never tried Centauri whiskey. Yeah, and it's then good, after you said I didn't have never tried it, you pour that. Yeah, that's a that's a heavy try. It's not a try. It's it's no, that's a full on sitting. You mixed it with a little bit. Of that was a healthy sip. It's good. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> All oh right. God! It just starts gargling. I gotta go find my sleeping bag. Anyway, um, <laughs> you have a couch. You wouldn't uh, even give me that, Frankie. I'm sorry, but we do not have a bidet for you. Okay. Oh, fucked up. I could go in there and spray you in the ass if you need me to, though. Would you? Get As a your garden friend? hose. <laughs> I think so. If you need, if you ri- <sighs> might be a little bit before I drive home, <laughs> <home>, guys. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Oof. Size max. Oh. Yeah, what are those two doing? They're just like pissed at the fucking like the queen. Well, no, well, I don't think like the royal family. They don't really, you know, like, you know, what I'm saying like we had talked about the queen before. I don't know if that was with you or with Danny. But, like, it, was it was with me. Danny. It was with Danny. We talked with, about the the royal family with on the basement yard, and man, did the UK come for us? Really? Yeah, they're like, "Hey, bro, don't talk about the queen." <laughs> and you're like, "Yo, I was joking, dude." They get su- they're like super pumped about. All the we queen. said was that we didn't care about the royal <laughs> wedding, and it's like, why is there like national coverage? Oi, bro, you better not be a top boy about that. <laughs> <laughs> it was literally like. There's an event, like it's the Thanksgiving Day Parade, and like Santa Claus is coming. You know what I'm saying? Where are they now? Are they in like Canada or something? Yeah, they like ran away. Yeah. They're like, it was kind of like a Jasmine and Aladdin being like, I don't want to be royalty. I don't like, want to be the Sultan. Who's Why the do you have a gun the whole fucking time? <laughs> it's threatening. Who's the WikiLeaks guy? They're like hiding with him somewhere. What's oh his name? Are they? I don't Dude, know. Dude, he. Wait. Julian Assange? Yeah. Is yeah, that yeah, him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're that's just like him. hiding out, just like fucking like being like, yo, Dude, fuck when everyone. They, when they actually found him, holy fuck, he looked completely different. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I don't know, man. The royal fam, like, uh, well, whatever. They're not having royalty anymore. So it's like the queen? Oh, all right, fine. You want to tell me what the queen's doing? If she, like, you know, you know it would be cool if the queen and killed she's somebody. she's like 90 right now. You think no? the queen's ever killed someone? She's, you don't, you don't stay on top unless you fucking kill a couple people. That's what I'm saying. Know? But not, like, actually with her hands, but she, like, orders them, like, she, like, orders, be like, listen up to me. Listen up, everybody. You're going to go out there. You're going to find them at the footy pub. And you're going to give them a wink. That's it. <laughs> I'm sure that's how they talk. That's how you talk. No, like, no, she's a gangster. Knock them off. Oh, that's what they say. Knock them off. They go, hey, oi, royalty, your highness. You know, in, in, in like, you, whatever really accent you're doing, when like they that? say, like, I'm going to come over and sort you out, that means, like, fuck you. Sort you out. Yeah. yeah. He's like, fuck your ass. I think it's butt shit. I think it, no, I think it's just like. Oh. And, Joey, again with a gun. Yeah. I, I'm gunning today. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is, like, gay stuff. Like, I'll come over I'm and... I'm going to sort you out. Yeah, no, I think it's like a sexual... Like, I get to picture Id- Idris saying that. Like, I'm going to come over and sort Let's see, you. let's see. Like, killing them right. afterwards? Tell me if this feels gay to you, all right? Oi, right, Keith. Uh-huh. I'm going to come over. Yeah. I'm going to sort you out. Click. Hung up. What? Oh, what's, oh, oh, I thought you were loading a gun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> like, click. <laughs> click. <laughs> Pow. <laughs> But I'm here telling you, like, I'm a so child. Don't yeah, I mean, you, you could say anything like that, and it would be sexual. Yeah, I guess yeah, so. You like, can literally say, your oh, fuck yourself. Yeah, he's what not wrong. Fuck? I'm going to help you fuck yourself. Like, why don't people say that? What did you just say? I'm going to help you fuck yourself. No one says that. That's so what I'm saying. Me, so you're giving me a Dutch rudder is what you're saying. What's that? A Dutch rudder? What's that? That's a... When, What's like, that? You hold your dick, and I move your arm for you, yeah. and jerk you off with your hand. Is that... Let's yeah. talk. Okay. Well, it's a percentage of gay. How much? But like, not over fifty. What? Okay. 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 Hold I'll on. I'll give it a forty-five. I was gonna go. I was gonna say really. I was gonna say forty-one. What's the level of percentage of gay that you don't want to engage in? Well, passing in school is sixty-five. So I guess anything below that. I'm fine. You you no, go. No, no. Wait. Public school's fifty-five though. No. Fucking idiots. <laughs> you went there. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I went. We all went there actually. I went. No. You, well. well I, went there, I went there at a fifth. Doesn't matter. You went to public school for fifth until fifth grade? Yeah, mm-hmm. and then after that, I went to Catholic. We all went to PS2. I didn't know you went to PS2. I thought you went the whole time to St. Francis. No, bro. Oh. I'm but either glad way. I'm glad I went to PS2 instead of St. Francis. So, um, what's the level at which is, like, too much gay? Too much percentage of gay? I mean, if you're staring down the barrel of a dick, I think you're really flirting with it. Why? Whoa, 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 why? Just because it's like... If there's a... If someone walks in here with a dick and I stare at it... Well, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you're going out of your way to be like, yo, like, I'm going to get close to this thing. 
What's gay about that? What's with this British accent coming out? I'm not saying the British are all gay. (laughs) I'm not saying. Oh, jeez. Come at me. Cancel them. No, I no, I think that like. You can't pass a certain percent. Nah, if a dude walks in, because like I've been in the gym, and like an old guy's like, you know, he's just dropping his stuff, and it's all hanging, like banging and hanging. Yeah. And you're like, what is going on? I ever tell you the story about the guy in the gym who just surprised me? There was like a a, a little wall that's like this high, and I'm walking in the gym to go to the bathroom before I work out, and there's an old man with like a sh- t-shirt on, and... I was just like, oh, hey, you know, because he, like, had looked at me. So I was just like, hey, how's it going? Like, whatever. Then he stepped out from behind the wall, and he had nothing on. Not even <laughs> socks. And I was like, this is a trick. Because you're hiding behind this wall, and it's like, by the way, penis. Where's Ashton? <laughs> I'm getting punked. It was just like, it was, I was just like, yo, this is not fair that you're doing that to That's me. That's kind of, honestly, though, you have to admire his, like, gall. Like, yeah, see, like, people like that, awesome. There was also it's a like, Colombian man. Fuck. A Colombian man. I was in the I was in the sauna with uh, Pete and someone else. It might have been Ahmed, and we were in what a what a sauna. It was a sauna. Yeah, what we, a we sauna. We were cooking in there. Sauna. And then this old man comes in, and he's just naked. Really? Like he comes in with a with a towel on. To sit on it. But he's he's yeah he's standing and he has it like around his waist, and he's just standing there. So we like make room. Like oh dude, you can sit. Like it's cool. And he puts the towel down and sits on the towel. And then he looks at us immediately and he's just like. And he, like, kind of, apo- not apologized, but he was, like, s- explaining, like, oh, you know, like, where I'm from. like, And we're like, nah, dude, cool. Just fucking sweat that dick out. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Oof. Yeah. Oof. I was, I've was i been in a sauna plenty of times. Never been naked in one. See, but that sauna that you were in, isn't it small? It's yeah, very small. It's a very small sauna. It's smaller than, like... Small, honestly, the size of this table yeah. is, like, the bench. If, it was a squ- if this table was a square, this was it. So yeah. you were staring bar- standing down a barrel of a dick, so... Yeah, I mean, no, I wasn't looking. at I don't think you can. Could, I don't if, think you can probably nickname thing, that dick a barrel. If you, if he was sitting, if he was sitting on like the upper level, and I'm sitting on the lower level, and I was just there's an upper level. Yeah, it's like oh, two, and that's where it's hotter and shit. Yeah, okay. yeah, there's like two like levels you could sit on. Yeah, I, I wish someone referred to my dick as a barrel. <laughs> well, what do they refer to it as? What? What do they refer? Gumby. It? I'm never gonna unpack that. <laughs> I was going to go with a straw or like something smaller than a Jesus, barrel. Keith. All right, next on my You know, list. You, you big dick people have way too much confidence. You need to be knocked down a pick. <laughs> All right, the next thing I have here is fake Zoom backgrounds. Oh, oh the people God. that are hilarious. Oh, dude. my God, dude. Enough. You're not in outer space. <laughs> All right? You're not in the Bahamas. Whoa. You're in your living room, and it's fucking psychology class. The people that get on, ha, oh, ha, ha, I'm in, uh, I'm on the boat. You know, it's like, dude, no, you're fucking not. It's like, I'm wearing a fisherman hat. Look, <laughs> it's choppy. Shut the fuck up. Any, you know what? Let's get, let's just get right to, you know, pull the root out. Any of these fucking like cool, like dad jokes that people think are hilarious. Fuck you. What are you talking about? Like Wait, these what? people that are like, you know, like, oh, ho, ho. like, oh yeah, a beautiful day out as it's raining. Like, dude, go all the way into fucking yourself. <laughs> I hate when people do that. Anima yourself. But Ooh. speaking of animas. Let's get to these ads. They're animas? Nope. <laughs> I was going to say, wait a minute. They might be mad that I said that, but it's okay because... <laughs> well, wait, wait, is, wait. Pour this, yourself a glass before This is you awkward start. now, uh, but we have BetterHelp. <laughs> BetterHelp is online counseling. Um, if you are looking to talk to a therapist during these uh, rough times, uh, you can talk to a therapist via BetterHelp. They have four means of communication, video uh, audio, phone call, texting, whatever you want, whatever makes you comfortable uh, with BetterHelp, you can do that. Um, you can start talking to a therapist in under 48 hours, and to switch therapists is very easy as well. Uh, just go to betterhelp.com slash yard, B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash yard. You will get 10% off of your first month. Um, but yeah, they have a bunch of licensed therapists that are, you know, they specialize in depression or anxiety or, you know, whatever you, you know, whatever thing you want to address. Um, but yeah, go check them out. Betterhelp.com slash yard to get 10% off of your first month. Uh, next here we have Hello Fresh. Hello Fresh. Uh, you get free pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering seasonal recipes delivered right to your front door. Um, so you have to skip all those trips to the grocery store. Like you'll just get a box that is, has all the stuff pre-portioned with the, uh, recipe and how to make the entire thing. You could keep them, start your own little cookbook if you want, but it's a really cool way to, um, especially around the holiday season and we're not supposed to be going outside or going to restaurants or anything. So you're going to have to spice it up a little bit. You can't order food every single time. And if you don't really have 
like the knowledge on like what to make, you can use HelloFresh for that. Um, but yeah, so go check out HelloFresh, uh, hellofresh.com slash 10 basement and use the code 10 basement for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Um, again, that is hellofresh.com slash 10 basement and use the code 10 basement for 10 free meals, including free shipping. Uh, for that but yeah go check them out it's great they have great food it's not just like your run of the mill stuff it's like actually high quality stuff so go check out HelloFresh uh, next here we have liquid IV which I'm gonna need after I finish this bottle of champagne because uh, it helps you fucking uh, stay a little hydrated uh, but they also have ones that uh, like these little packets that let me just okay they're like these little packets you put into a, a glass of water and they will hydrate you up to it is the equivalent of two to three glasses of water and actually gets into your bloodstream and your body quicker than water does on itself because of this shit they have in it, CTT. Don't know what that is, but, you know, we trust them. Um, but they also have, like, immune support, and they also have these things that are energy boost boosters as well. Really cool product. Been using them like crazy. I actually They send me a package, like, every couple of weeks. I have a ton of it. So I've just been giving it out because I let people try it in my apartment and they love it. So I just, I've been giving them out to everybody and everyone's loving it. And, uh, you know... They should give me some equity in the company. That's a different conversation. If you guys are listening, just email me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, but Liquid IV is available at Walmart in the beverage section, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BASEMENT at checkout. 25% off anything in the store when you use the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. Huge, all right? That is one-fourth, right? 25, 50, 75, 100, boom. 25% uh, off anything in the store when you use the promo code BASEMENT at liquidiv.com. So go check that out and lastly here dicks we got blue chew all right they sponsored this episode we got <laughs> penises all right you want your penis to be more full of erection <laughs> here you go you know what i'm saying uh blue chew brings you the first chewable with the same fda approved active ingredients as Vi viagra and cialis this is not just for people that uh have erectile dysfunction it will work for those people you know what i'm saying if you got that this is something that could help you as, as you just read the same fda approved active ingredients as viagra and cialis so uh blue true is also <coughs> only um hello is prescribed <laughs> online by licensed physicians so you don't have to go to the doctor's office or wait in line at the pharmacy it ships right to your door in discreet packaging so your neighbors or the mailman don't know this guy's getting a fucking full penis i want them to know i'm getting it that you could sign up for that as well you could tell the mailman hey write it on it yeah um but i'm gonna scream it they're made in the usa and since blue chew prepares and ships direct they're cheaper than a pharmacy no awkwardness so you don't have to like be like hey can i get this dick pill um, but yeah, Blue Chew, again, that is Blue Chew, B-L-U-E, Chew.com. Uh, use the promo code BASEMENT to try it for free, all right? Whoa. Um, but yeah, it's not just for people who have erectile dysfunction. If you want to just up your game, like uh, we all could use, you know, an extra boost every now and then. If you want to do something crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, let's get some Blue Chew in here. I'm going to have a mega dick, and I'm going to just slay it down. You know what I'm saying? For whatever that may mean. I don't really know what I just said. You know exactly what it means. They yeah. know. Um, but again, BlueChew.com, use the pump code BASEMENT. To try it for free, just pay $5 for shipping. Um, it's a better, cheaper choice, all right? So if you want your penis to be fucking full staff, full potential, bluechew.com. Use the promo code BASEMENT. Oh, thanks yeah. For, thanks for our friends, friends of the show. And by the way, I didn't think you could talk that fast. Dude, I, I was that just... Was only Frankie. I was just going to say, did they put coca? Yeah. Coca, did they put that in your drink? Cocaina. Glug, 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 I, or I was thinking that this whiskey is slowing me down a bit. Yeah, because you're not. You had one sip, and you haven't done it in like 15 minutes. First of all, I've had a lot of sips. Second of all, I I'm at that point now where drinking alcohol, where like the first, I don't know how you guys are when you drink, but like the first thing that comes into my mind is like, all right, junk food. Now, yeah, I okay. need to go to Mike's Diner, and I need to get mozzarella sticks. See, if when I get drunk, I'm like, oh, I want disco fries today. Now, yeah, <laughs> today. What's your 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 drunk food is disco fries? Mine. If it's if, for the most part. It depends where I am because I've had disco fries where they use like Mine American is... cheese and I'm like, ew, what yeah, the fuck is disgusting. this? But I, mozzarella cheese, is, uh, mozzarella sticks is a good one. Chicken tenders though. Chicken tenders and fries like ketchup. Like... Ketchup just in case or barbecue. Ooh. <laughs> wings. No. Oh, too dirty. No, fuck you. Drunk eating wings, I'll be covered. Imagine wings. me eating wings. Oh, you're so hot. Wings, mozzarella <laughs> sticks or a BLT. 
Nah, Yo, see, come why, in. Why do, <laughs> why do people like BLTs? They're it's, so fucking good. BL, a BLT, I'm not a giant BLT dude, guy. A BLT is almost a sandwich. I, it is It is a sandwich. How no, much it's bacon, not. No, no, no. Now, how much bacon do you put on your BLT? The more, the merrier, baby. I understand, but like, what do you do when you're making it by yourself? I, like when homemade I'm, BLT. Home, first of all, homemade BLTs, you don't do because... Fuck you. It's a stupid sandwich. Second of all, <laughs> just like... At least three strips. Whoa! On so each. much meat, dude. It's fucking delicious. Dude. Uh, you mi- you you need it's an only actual three meat. Strips. You need a meat. It's bacon. It's pork. I know what it is, but it's it's not like a main meat. Right. It's a side meat. Fuck you all. I'm getting. You know what I'm getting tonight? A good old bolt. No, a, dude, a BLT, like, you need, like, chicken in there. No, you don't. Or, like, a turkey. No! All these people that get, like, turkey clubs, it's just a BLT with turkey. Fuck you. Because that's an actual sand. Dude, fuck. Turkey sandwiches are the most boring fucking limp dick. They need blue chew. Dude, a, cl- a club. club. A turkey cl- clubs a club. need blue chew. They don't fucking, they're limp dick sandwiches. What? They're a Wait, club. It's clubs. Clubs are fun. Isn't there cheese on turkey? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there's no you cheese on You put cheese on a BLT. There's no cheese on your BLTC. shit, BLTC. Beat TLC. You said beat TLC? Those are women. You disgusting freak. <laughs> Frankie wants to beat Too women. Too much beaky. <laughs> Joey, I don't want to beat women. Ever again. <laughs> Be careful. I thought you were going to shatter that in your hand. Shatter Can you, that. Have you ever... Uh, I once drank a beer that had glass in it. Plenty of glasses. Yeah? Plenty. I, I actually have a list of things I'm going to leave in 2020 as well. I know. Um... <laughs> So, um, uh, I, I have them because, uh, I have better ideas than you. Um, <laughs> but the first one, the first thing I want to leave in 2020 uh-huh. is week day, weekday day drinking. Does Wait, that make sense? Why? Weekday day drinking. We're doing this right do now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Weekday day drinking. Fridays don't count because Fridays are the weekend. Casual. Weekday day drinking is not fun. <laughs> There's a fly on It's not freaking. fun. Like day drinking on a Saturday. Cool. N- nothing better. Nothing better. We can agree on that, right? Yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. Some things are better. No. <laughs> but like on a fucking we- like during quarantine, everyone was just like, "Yo, it's Wednesday. Oh, I'm gonna fucking day drink." Dude. And it's like maybe maybe think about your life choices. Dude, in the beginning of the pandemic, I think I had a bo- like four bottles of wine in the first three weeks. That like was every week. And maybe it's because I didn't drink during pandemic because I was alone and I felt really sad. <laughs> <laughs> but we stop. Frank, relax, man. But everyone, like, stop. You know what I mean? Dude, I drank a lot. I did. I drank way too much. Really? Because it was still hot outside. It, it was hot out for most of it. it I, I, no, I know. But, like, I remember every time I would go to the, uh, the store because I would go just me and get everything because... My mom, uh, I didn't want my mom going. And uh, I'd go and I'd make sure to get like literally a pack of White Claws. <laughs> sorry, a, a box of White Claws and like a, like two or three things of like beer. Oh, It was absurd. I literally made a fucking tower in my house. I drank so much fucking red wine. And then I Joey Harper. would come over on the weekends and then we'd have beer pong playing with fucking that White be, Claws. You know, like maybe I'm just a little sour because I'm in Jersey and I wasn't able to do that. Like, everyone was, like, having fucking fun. You guys were doing, like, Zoom fucking, like, happy hours. Yeah, and I was yeah, just yeah. sitting there, just fucking... Listen to music I just didn't care about. Just <laughs> being afraid of going outside and wiping down my boxes of macaroni. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember that? Everyone was just, like, life Remember, on remember his hands in Texas? Yeah, my hands. Well, that was before. His hands before. were dry as fuck. Oh yeah, before we went before, to Texas. And everyone was like, yo, why are you fucking washing, washing your hands and sanitizing so much? I was like, dude, I'm terrified. My hands were fucking cracked. You look like a reptile. I brought some uh, moisturizer and Frankie was just using it the entire trip. And I was like, his hands looked like he was wearing white gloves. Dude, they were rough. They were really, really rough. And I remember on the trip back in the airport... I was sitting next to you and Keith is... We're both like, like this, I was trying to so sleep and Keith bad. goes... <laughs> and I'm like, Keith, not here, not now. No, it's no, it wasn't that. I looked, I looked over at you, and I was like, "Yo, feel my head." Do I, 
is my head hot? Yeah, and oh. like 10 minutes earlier or like 10, around the same time he had sneezed. And, and like, I was like, Keith, not here. You're like, you're like Keith, you understand. You'll, you'll probably get arrested before you get off this plane. Dude, I remember that. It, it, it was fucking Oh, and terrifying. by the way, you were in the, on the way back, you were, on the, you were in the airplane bathroom for like 45 to an hour. Yeah, you know why? Because my body does this magic trick where it makes fucking sludge. <laughs> That's why Keith does this magic trick where it makes. Yo, but do you my remember that we was killing we stayed me. up? Talk into the mic. I'm sorry, my sternum was killing me because I kept leaning on like the stupid little fucking tray. tray? Gives yeah, you. he was like leaning on the tray, and, and I was like, trying to sleep on it, and then I like constantly wake yeah. up, yo, for at least a week. I couldn't breathe like correctly. It kept hurting. Yeah, What's that could have also been something else, though. I don't know. What oh, no, 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 cocaine it wasn't you were doing. <laughs> no, the COVID. Not. Oh, that did. That did. All right, look. If I had COVID, everybody else had COVID. I'm sure. None of us had COVID. None of us, thank God. I Which know. is weird because we were in Knock a on packed me. fucking bar, dude. That weekend, it was fucking wild. It was hilarious. What's on this list no. of yours? And cold. All right, so so day weekday day drinking. That's yes. Get rid of it. You know. Uh, the next. Things to leave in 2020, TikTok dances. Fuck all of these little fucking idiot kids <laughs> that are just like, oh, yeah, yuck, yuck, yuck. Everyone. <laughs> yuck, yuck, yuck. Everyone fucking stop dancing on TikTok. Isn't it weird how that's like the thing to do now? Like when you're a kid in high school, like even as like a, like a dude, you're like, yo, go home and hit this choreograph. Dude. Is that the right term? Choreograph. Yeah, I think it is. Like, adults that do it, okay. Like, fine. Well, but, like, these kids that are, like, yo, in high school, like, yo, lunchtime, meet me in Mr. Smith's chemistry room. We're and they're fucking, the whoa. Yeah, and they're, like, you know, like, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Have you ever seen, like, been out on the street and seen people dancing in public, and you're, like, they're making TikTok? Dude. No. <sighs> you have? No, but, like, you go to, like, Brooklyn, there's always a person taking a picture in front of, like, a mural. Oh, well, it's yeah, like, that's dude, different. That's cool. Who cares? That is not even what we're talking about. That's not about what we're talking about. All. If they start fucking popping their pussy <laughs> in front of the well, I don't think Mona popping. Lisa, but, not in Brooklyn. I know that. <laughs> but, uh, nah, I lost my thought. Yeah, you got You right. never had one to begin with. I lost it in the bottom of that fucking beer over there. <laughs> No, no, I, no, no, no. I'm just ready to leave TikTok dances. I don't even have a TikTok, so I don't even... Me know. neither. I don't have a TikTok, plus I don't want to dance, so it kind of ma- it kind of works. That could work. For me... Though. We should make a TikTok account and just keep dancing. You think you're going to get me to dance? Within yeah. right amount of alcohol? Absolutely. One hundo per saljo. I can't get... I, if I can't get you to do it, I know someone else that can. And guess what? He is violating labor laws, and he's sitting right there. Joe Santagato. What is that? <laughs> He's violating labor <laughs> laws. Uh, yeah. But absolutely, I think we can get you to dance. No, nah, but yeah, the TikTok thing. I, I just find it like mad strange that like, I, not that it's strange. It's just very different than when we grew up. Because I can't imagine me being like, yo, you guys trying to hit this dance or whatever. And like everything will just be cool. I guess in a way it was kind of the same because we were... Like we would tell people, like, "Yo, come, we're gonna make a video. Come hang with us." And they were like, "And they were like, no." Yeah. I was telling the story last night. There was a uh, two girls in middle school that went to school with me that liked us, and we invited them over to make a video with them there. Do you remember that? No one. Yeah, we invited two girls over. Did we do it? Yeah, and we made a video of you guys holding my legs open and Keith running and drop kicking me in the dick. <laughs> You remember that now? No. You don't remember that? Who I was it? I, I think I... You really want me to drop the names? I think I mentally blocked that. Can you do nicknames? No. Why not? All right, because what does it rhyme with? <laughs> that, yeah, that'll really throw off the viewers. <laughs> we, was there, it our friends or just random There girls? were two girls that I went to school with. Oh, now I oh, know it now. And Give me we, the first initial of, of both of them. A. Is it A and S? Yeah, I know. A and S? Okay. And we like, we're like, <laughs> what the fuck is that? We were like, um, like fucking you know, just come and hang and we're going to record a video. Oh, it'll be cool. And they came and that's the, re- the video we recorded. Like, so I guess in a way we did the same shit, but like the kids that do it now are fucking losers. Wow. That's big. Thank yeah. you saying that. Yeah. I don't think they're fucking losers. I just think that's different. I just think that's a very different thing. Cause we were like, yo, you know what's cool? Making jackass videos. Yeah. And like jumping off a of shit, which is arguably like also fucking stupid. Yes, but it, it is, is subjectively, uh, objectively cooler than fucking wagging your pussy in front of a camera. <laughs> like 
<laughs> that's not. And like the guys that do it too, the guys that are like. But you're gonna do what people want for the view. Like like people want to see yes, that. For I get that. Wise. I'm so just letting you know the people. Pe- I get that, Keith. But the people that like that stuff are also idiots. I understand. So now you're talking about like a, a real big percentage of the pop. Yeah, fuck them all. <laughs> wow. Let's we'll just fucking kill them. Frankie, I'm kidding. Fra- <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's not kill them. Obviously, I don't want to kill them yet. As he sips his abiki, stares into the sunset. How much do I have to Venmo you to just slam that right now? No, no, no. You got to fill it more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, why did you pirate eye me? <laughs> he just shut his one eye. He was just like, my, one of my eyes just went. I don't He's know like, why. He's like, I'll do it for free, buddy. No, I, I, I do have to head home after this. That's okay. What else I got a pregnant list? wife at home, dude. She'll okay. be fine. She doesn't have a baby yet. How do you know? That's true. We don't know. She could be calling me right now saying, on her way. Your phone's right there. Yeah. What else What else is on your list? Uh, other things I want to leave <laughs> in, in 2020. Um, I also had the toilet paper thing. Okay. Because, like, fuck you don't need like wiping your ass is not going to ruin your day actually that, I, hold just on, have a, a real shitty diet and you barely shit anyway well <laughs> well or you shit a lot depending on i mean we depending on how lot. yeah how your body reacts yeah. yeah like if you were to have mcdonald's every day your body would be nuclear oh, no i would be sh- i would be farting and it would just why do you say farting like that farting i, mean, I would my farts oof. whenever i have mcdonald's it smells like i died if i have anything that has dairy in it i shit I fart, out, I fart out formaldehyde. You, you you probably are lactose sensitive. Oh, sensitive? Yeah. My body's like, dude, please stop. <laughs> Your body's lactose intolerant? It's coming in. It's going, no. I wouldn't, <laughs> no. No. I wouldn't even call it intolerant. I would just say lactose, don't, you're not allowed Nuh-uh. in. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> I keep sneaking it in the back door, but the, the bouncers keep turning it away. Um, I have also celebrities tackling social issues with videos. Oh my god. Guys. Yo, wh- why are celebrities thinking that these are good ideas? The most tone deaf thing of this year was Gal Gadot opening Wait, a video. That's I think that's how you say it. Is it not Gal Gadot? I don't know. <laughs> opening a video going Imagine there's no heaven. Like everyone's fucking dying <laughs> and she's telling us to imagine no heaven. Yeah. I get the concept of the song by John Lennon is supposed to be like, you know, like a beautiful, like imagine, like just like things are better, but don't fucking open it when people are dying saying, imagine there's no heaven from your like billion dollar living room. I, what are we doing? We're, hey guys, it's me. We're all in this together. No, we're not. No, we're We're not. We're absolutely not. (laughs) You're on 40 acres of land. Yeah. I'm sitting here in a two bedroom apartment. And I have to wipe down whatever fucking groceries are available to me. When you can call up, craft themselves, and they'll send you a lifetime supply of mac and cheese. And I have so much anxiety that I'm going to need an enema to take a shit. Oh, yeah. These people, they're, they're <laughs> fucking taking half shits in each of their eight bathrooms. These pieces of shit. <laughs> half shits. And then not only that, but the vote one, where it's like, yo, we're celebrities, and here's how we're going to tell people to vote. We're going to be naked. Listen. Whose idea? Spoiler Wait, alert. Who is naked? Everyone. Spoiler alert. Like I don't, David Spade? It's yeah. Like, what? I don't. You know what's gonna make me not want to do anything? Wait, there was naked seeing people Sarah voting? Silverman's fucking bush. <laughs> Sorry. Not. Wait, I, I think it was Sarah, from, Sarah Silverman. No, it was from the neck up. But like, nothing about seeing Chris Rock naked is gonna make me be fucking amped to go vote. Yeah. I think it was like for the shock value of being like, we're naked, and while we have your attention, go vote. But like. Was there anything else behind it? No, what? it was like... It was literally just vote. It was like, yeah. take the time out of this week to go vote. Some of them didn't even acknowledge that they were naked. Which is like... Like, who comes up with these fucking ideas? I and I guess know. the joke is on us because we're talking about it. Well, that's why they do it. It's like, oh, like, but like... Yeah, I guess it's like that factor of... Oh, you heard like so-and-so was naked talking yeah, but about like, voting. I don't. I get, guess that's the reason. I don't get the whole idea. Like To me, those are just lazy ideas. Like When people like fake beefs or they fake relationships, it's like, well, it's going to get people to talk about it, so it's like a good idea because it's going to get people to talk about it. It's like, or you could just stay in this room and like come up with an idea and that a will better, get people to talk about it, and yeah. it's a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm not worried. just like, yo, f- take your tits out. 
I think this year showed us what Let's happens what happens when celebrities don't have like the fucking ability to have other people making stuff for them. You know what I mean? Like it was just them and a camera and they were like let's let's make a video of us singing Imagine. Like like there's better ideas to Who come was up. That? that was Gal Gadot. Okay. That was Wonder Woman. That's that's a pretty good impression of her. I don't really know what she sounds like. She's She's very tall, isn't she? She's, She's really She tall. was like a fucking like Israeli like special ops. She will fuck us up. Yeah, she reminds me of like Wait, was she? Yeah, she was like Damn. in the Israeli Marines or some shit. That's insane. Don't they force it's people to be in the Marines in, in Israel? Hit me up. What? They force people to be in the army in Israel. Maybe, right? I don't know. Whatever was the Israel like the Israeli version of the Green Berets that she was in. The blue the blue yarmulkes she was in. God damn it. <laughs> I know not everyone that's Israeli is Jewish, but it's pretty funny. I'll be honest with you, I didn't. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm dead serious. I'm He's dead serious. Sides. I'm dead serious. I didn't know that. That's all right. It's okay. I get it. I but mean, but like thinking about it now, like putting a second in to think about it, like that makes so much sense, and I'm an idiot. <laughs> but I swear to God, I never even like thought that. Like I yeah. assumed everyone who was in Israel was Jewish or. Whatever Hebrew, I, I'm sure like the percentage is overwhelming. But. I mean, yeah, but like, but that would be like probably not like, everyone. That would be like me thinking that everyone in Actually, the United States is like Catholic or something. I mean, I would say yeah, or like, everyone in Canada is French. What the fuck? Th- that's not a religion. Well, you know what I mean, like yeah. just like just general because like you hear like oh yeah in Canada it's like, like thinking like the people that think that just because people speak Arabic they're they you know devout their life to Islam like that's not necessarily the case either. Yeah. But <laughs> yeah, just, she was like she like all these celebrities that come out and they want to just be like they want to do good by trying to relate to us like n- like have a sense of self self awareness. What was the one with um Aaron Aaron uh, Paul Aaron Carter <laughs> Aaron Carter Aaron Paul that's his name right? Uh, um, which well I know Aaron Paul he's an actor but yeah, 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 which yeah, one him. are you talking about? Well he was he made this video and he was just like very Jesse. Oh Pinkman. my god. He was like, yeah, we, we gotta think. It, it was like, about, what is this? It was about. It was like about racial Bitch. injustice. But what did he say? It, it, I don't remember the exact. But it was like, I am sick and tired. It was like it's like that is so off putting to me because like you're an actor and like I get the message behind it. Like yeah, racial injustice is like bad. But like definitely, this is just so weird that like you're an actor and like you can clearly tell that you're acting like which is which is like off putting there's a level of self awareness that i think certain celebrities don't have like you don't need to be doing this in like a super dramatic way like i don't know that just means it's so weird to me yeah the, it seems like they've it's not they've, genuine is my point it's definitely not genuine i hear what you're saying it's like you can tell that like they're they're like do they feel conf- like that like you know strongly about it M- more likely than not absolutely but the fact that they're there and they're like all right man like this is going to be a good video and action do a couple takes oh, yeah 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 you know i'm sick you know and i'm fed up and, like, he, and he's just like we need to do something and it's like you don't talk like this yeah 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 and yeah. you're not like it's just i don't know that that whole culture behind like whatever i do agree with that celebrities probably you it's know it's the propaganda fella no you're just saying things. Now. Yeah, I don't know what that was. But you're just, but like I get the idea behind celebrities getting behind these like social issues because it forces people a certain way because people are uh, influenced by celebrities. But at the same time, like, dude, you're an actor, and I can tell that you're acting, so that comes off as not genuine. So this is just stupid to me. Yeah. No. Absolutely. I, I. There's a certain level of like again self awareness that you need to be able to have. I think like because then the conversation after this, I'll be like, well, if they're do if they're trying to get involved and you don't think it's the right way to do it, like it's kind of counterproductive. And I get that to an extent, but at the exact same time, like you need to understand like this. These are the 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 <laughs> benefits of you being in your role. There you go. Hello. The benefits of you being in your role, Fill and there are up. better ways to use it than to sit there and and kind of appear as if you're making some fraudulent claim to be this super woke individual. You know what I mean? And like the people, like that's why that's one of the reasons why I hated so much the fucking ice bucket challenge because it was like no, you're no bugging. no no, no. Dude, See, like that's a different level though. That's different no no no. Level. Listen, because a lot of what the ice bucket challenge was was it was like. All right, I'm nominating so and so and so and so, and if they don't do it, they need to donate to charity. So people were fucking 
just pouring ice water right, over themselves in I'm order not to not donate that, to charity. But the I'm thing, not putting that on, on the same level. The not. only pro- the only difference is, is because... With the I'm ice- not saying the creation of the Ice Bucket Challenge. I'm saying that, like, no, the inability like, to do something with, with a genuine approach to I it, which is what was bothering me about the that. The whole point of it was to, if you weren't going to do it, donate to the charity so that they can actually get... Yeah, or uh, guess what? what? Just fucking so, donate. I understand, but... There's a lot of people that don't fucking care. But like, not, not, no, it's not that. But like, the, like the people, it raised, like, it raised a ton of money by Great. doing it. It did. That because and that guy recently died. But it, the, the, yeah, per, the, the he recently died. The whole point of the ice bucket challenge, I think, is like, like, I get the idea behind behind creating like a fad or a phase or like a whatever the hell you want to call it. That was a good one. Behind it, that was really to good one. like promote awareness for something because it did raise awareness for it like when you talk about the bucket challenge like yeah sure there's people who are just like i'm just gonna pour ice on my head not gonna donate because this is like a popular thing to do for the individual it's bad because it's like i'm just doing this because it's popular and i'm not gonna donate or actually make a change or try to like whatever so i'm just gonna do this thing to hop on a trend so i look like everyone else yeah but they're at the end of the day like promoting awareness for als mm-hmm. and they raised a ton of money off the backs of the bucket challenge and, and Listen, whereas they wouldn't have the inception of it is great but my issue with it and which is the same issue i have with you have an fucking, indi- but you have an individual issue with it but it's more of just like i don't care about it they if, care about the views if people yeah because i mean are, yeah i'm saying let's leave behind celebrities doing it and that it relates to them as individuals absolutely yeah, i feel like the, i'm relating the celebrity that did it did uh what's it called donated as well, as I, doing I, the I mean, I, I'm sure I'm sure they did it, but my understanding of the situation is like it was like, dude, do it, and you don't have to donate. Yeah. But again, in regard to leaving, like the fucking societal issues that celebrities are like trying to tackle in 2020, it's like they don't have an understanding and a wherewithal to understand that the way that they are using their platform is not. It, it is not doing what the intent of what they're doing is. You know what I mean? Like, they're, the idea of, like, we don't need more eyes on the idea of social just, uh, of injustice and racial inequality and stuff like that. Like, the for the most part... I don't necessarily agree with that. For the most part, the people that understand that it's an issue understand it's an issue. So a celebrity sitting there and telling you, like, enough is enough. Like, yeah, we know that already. Like, we, but, we get that. Like, but, you have more resources to do but something. But you know that. Like, you're not everyone... Like, there's people who are, like, idiots, and they are just... They watch Jimmy Fallon like every single night and they like that's how they get their news. Like literally there's people like that in the world. And I would say the majority of people like as a whole, a lot of them are just not informed. Uh. And so when a celebrity says something like that's when they get their news. Like I'm I'm a mega fan of fucking Gal Gadot. And like what if she, if she's going to say something then I'm going to listen to her Is that because how you say her name. I, I don't think, know. I think I think. But it doesn't it doesn't even matter. We're always right on the show and that's what it is. That's what it is. Uh but <laughs> <laughs> we don't have information, which is fine because you don't need it. When you have a podcast. But, uh, yeah, so I, I think that, like, when it comes to the ALS bucket, uh, Ice Bucket Challenge, like, whatever, like, at the end of the day, like, people who was, were filming when it was popular to be like, we're going on the street, we're going to give homeless people $100. Like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, fuck like, these people. The whole general See, like, concept of I it. I don't like. But the whole general concept of that is, like, in my eyes, it does more good than bad. For the individual, like, you're a shitty person, yeah, but you are doing a good thing. Yeah. Because what you're doing is you're promoting, like, you're you're showing people who are your fans who are like going to be like these they'll do whatever the fuck you say and you're showing them like oh donating to people is like a good thing so like you're putting that in their head so that's a good thing you're also actually donating to this guy which is a good thing but you're doing it for the wrong reason so the individual you can recognize as being like this guy's doing a bad thing but what he's like his intention is bad but what he's actually doing is technically a good thing but i think the 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 larger umbrella of kind of the the point that i'm making saying like leave this shit in 2020 is the concept that good deeds can only happen when they're done in front of a fucking camera yeah you know what i mean like and that's the part of those fucking videos that drives me nuts and it's like the people that like walk up to a homeless person and fucking have a phone out in front of them like oh look at this fucking homeless person here here's five hundred dollars like dude i understand why like they might be promoting people to do something but in addition outside of promoting in my opinion and again i could be wrong but i'm not in my (laughs) in, in in addition to promoting people to do those good deeds they're promoting people to make it publicly known and like the people that are behind the scenes that are not fucking doing that in my opinion are the people that are 
doing more good than bad where we're we're just we're we're fucking playing into this idea that like yo I, I, you're I, only I, doing good if people know you're doing good it's like I, I fuck agree, you i agree and fuck and, you if i want to fucking do good i don't need to tell people about it let me sleep comfortably at night knowing that i agree to a certain extent i agree if they don't have a platform like i'm okay with people doing charitable things if they have a platform and posting about it because it it show it just gets more awareness of like yeah. whatever it is out there and maybe it influences a couple of people which otherwise wouldn't have that yeah. but if you're a random person who doesn't have a following and you're doing that that to me but the whole thing is like the intention i also am a firm i'm not a firm believer but i do believe that part of charitable work char charitable work is narcissistic because you do of get something. It is. Yeah, you get something from that. Like if I, if you donate money to something and like it does a good deed for someone, like you feel good about yourself when you feel like a, like a superhero for a second, and like that's fine. Like you don't have to pretend that doesn't exist. Like yeah, it does exist. But you, I feel like it's just very easy to tell people's intention of like, is this person a good person or are they just jumping on a YouTube trend? Because that and that's when it got bad because it was such a YouTube trend. Like. Like these videos are working right now. So for my career, I should go out of my way to do homeless shit because it's like popular. That's when it gets a little bit like, how genuine is this? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 I agree. That I hate. And that's why I'm saying it's like a double-edged sword. We were talking about bidets and now we're here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get back to fucking something else. Shows your dick. It's not going to I thought it was. I almost spit this back up. Um, <laughs> um, all right. What I want to leave in 2020, uh, and I have here, and I quote, fast food chains, like, working with people? Like, celebrities? <laughs> what? Like, fucking, like, Travis Scott has, like, fucking burgers now. And then, like, Jay Balvin has, like, a meal. And, like, Who's Jay Balvin? He's some fucking Spanish guy. And then, like, Tifu has a meal at fucking Wendy's. Does he? Yeah. yeah he does. Guys, fucking cut it out. Let's go back to remembering fast food is the shit. Not good. The is just shit. Shit. It is shit. But you know what's crazy about the the Travis Scott thing? Like hype beasts were like lining up and like they were selling out of burgers like, yo, it's a double cheeseburger. It, with what was it? It was barbecue with, sauce. It was with barbecue <laughs> sauce. Yeah. It was like, yo, with barbecue sauce. It's like, sauce. bro, it's a fun, like, you can get that shit any day of the people, week. People were reselling them, too. Dude, the other day, <laughs> Becca... <laughs> I want to resell Becca was like, <laughs> Becca was like, yo, I need I need Wendy's. And I'm like, all right. And we went and got Wendy. And she looks it up, and she's like, who's Tafu? <laughs> and I'm like, what? She goes, who's Tafu? Who's, you know, who are these people? And I'm like, what? what? And it's fucking streamers. And, like, fast food companies now, like, I, I guarantee it's only a matter of time before fucking, you know, Taco Bell comes out with a John Cena rap. You know what I mean? And I'm getting that. I have to. I am <laughs> definitely getting that. I have to. And that's why yeah, I The best it collab ever is when Taco, Taco, Taco Bell was like, we're going to take the best fucking Doritos and make it the shell. I cannot get enough of that. Really? They got rid of it, though. I never had it. The Cool Ranch Dorito. Tacos Locos Doritos Locos. Dude, I can't eat that unless I'm sitting on the toilet because fire. I need a me. Joe Senegal beer. That's all I got to say. Dude, if you get your own brand of food or beer, I'm going to fucking lose my mind. Dude, I, I I need a brand of beer from you. I do. I, I would love you have to, to have have try that. to work your magic Santa somehow. Santa got toasted malts. I just fucking did it for you guys. Toasted malt? Yeah. Is like that a, dark, a thing? Like a dark beer. Or that toasted lager sucks. is a thing. Toasted, Santa got toasted lager. Dude, I will fucking... Yo, I will roll. I will fucking roll. roll, roll. I don't even. That that's it's it. the whiskey. Yeah, it it's is. The whiskey. <laughs> it's the whiskey, guys. It's the whiskey. This is, the <laughs> this is the biggest mess ever. This is hilarious. This is the new year. That's how we're a mess of an episode ending a mess. Of this a is year. how you end the fucking new year. Uh, how much time we got left? Because I got more. No, we have ton. Uh, we have. We're way. We're at like a, an hour and ten minutes. Are we? Yeah. Got more. What else you got? Um. <laughs> Everyone making banana bread. <laughs> <laughs> you all suck. Your banana bread is probably dry as the fucking Abu Dhabi desert. That's not a desert, is it? I think so. so yeah, it is. It's it, Dubai. it might be. Is or that? just go Sahara. Be Sahara safe. desert. Just go safe. Fuck your banana That's bread. It's a famous desert. I will say this: there was that one point in like it was like two weeks in. Uh, and during the pandemic, we're like, there was so much fucking banana bread dude, content. Yeah, dude. Everyone was making, like, monkey pull-apart banana bread. And it's like, dude, fuck you always. Yeah, my Yo, monkey bread My mom is good. I've never had it. Dude, mom made it. and she, But she made it into, like, this French toast Oh, your mom shit. was a part of that? 
Shut up. What a bitch. Liz, call her. Call her now. Liz, <laughs> your banana bread probably sucked. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but fuck. fuck. What the hell? Get it off your fake plant, Joe. I don't want to ruin that, you fucking cheapskate. <laughs> Give us a fake fig tree. This is expensive. That's a fig tree? Yeah. It looks like it, yeah. Trying to get you trying how to much track think, wasps? How much do you think this was? Honestly? Yeah, yeah. Hornets, sorry? Like 35 bucks. Oh, it was more. What? Yeah. For a fake plant? This was like 230 bucks. Yo, you're I'm out jo- of your fucking jo- mind, dude. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. No. I think it was like 50 bucks, though. Don't do that. It's got fake soil. What is this By the shit? way, with the irony that he spent that money on a fake tree and then it's sitting on a cardboard box. <laughs> because it needs to be raised. I know what it needs to be, but it shouldn't be. You just got rid of the magic. People don't know that. Oh, yeah. Really? Sorry. Didn't mean to fucking you spoil it. You ruined the magic. Didn't mean to spoil it for you guys. Yeah. Whiskey. What were you doing? Dude, if you shattered that glass in your mouth. <laughs> Remember the, the guy that sat on a jar? Oh, can we leave that in 2020? Yeah, yeah fucking, even though that was like 2014. That. No, that was Yo, way but before I love that. how he just went, oh shit, it broke. Dude, this guy is pulling <laughs> fucking He's shards pulling of glass, glass out of his asshole. Did we talk about that on the show? We talked about one girl, one cup. No, there was a That's video that it. we saw. Two girls, one cup. Yeah, there was a video that we saw where a guy was sitting on like a full on mason jar. Like, I don't know how his asshole is that. I mean, he prepped like, like a motherfucker <laughs> for that. And then, <laughs> I'm not going to lie with you. It was Keith, you really need to stop saying that. We're not worried about you lying to us. Right. No, 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 Yo, not was, that. He's been big. saying the expression is, I'm not going to lie to you. But he's been saying, I'm not going to lie with you. Like, I'm not lying with you at all. You're the one who's lying. I'm he not also, fucking lying. He also like, I'm not going to lie with you. You always say that. It's, I don't want, like, I'm not going to lie to you. you he say al- with. He also says, yo, I could care less. I say that too, though. Yeah, I know. You're both idiots. Then. I know. It's, I couldn't care less. Correct it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to lie with you. I'm not gonna lie with you. <laughs> like suddenly, I'm part of this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be a part of your lie, Joey. <laughs> his asshole was this big. No, it had to have been. It was this big. He got a, a mason jar in his ass, and as soon as it fully got submerged in his ass, it shattered. Yeah. And he was bleeding out of his ass and pulling shards of glass out of his ass. I don't understand why wild. you're trying to smuggle a glass jar. My question is, how, that's open. How do without you, the lid? How do you Whoa. heal internal ass? Cuts. You probably have to get surgery. Yeah, you might need to get it like. You might have to get surgery repaired. and get all the, the glass taken out of his fucking rectum and. Uh, yeah. And well, yeah. From I, there, get uh, dissolvable stitches. But but when you shit, because you have to shit. I mean, That's, he'd probably if he was maybe they if he was a smart person. Temporarily, he'd probably go to the hospital right after that. Maybe temporarily they reroute it to like a colostomy bag. Yeah. You might have to sew the possible. asshole. Yes. Yeah. Damn, he's got a shit bag. Damn. Dude, I almost had to get one. Really? Frankie? Like permanently? Yeah, I almost had to get one. Yeah. Even like for life? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. dude, I, Damn. They, I wish. You would have no. bling that You do? Out? Yo, would you have like bedazzled that shit? No, I would have been fucking miserable. <laughs> I would have I would have required that you have it on the table. Oh, yeah? During a podcast? Oh, yeah? So you could shit in your bag. Uh, well, clearly, this goes to show you that Joey would have fucking profited fucking off asshole, of my misery. Huh? Yeah, but it's funny. You ever see Human Centipede 3? He puts no, a gun I in the guy's the colostomy bag and you? fucking shoots. Wait, 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 wait. One more time. The guy, Human Centipede 3. He puts a gun in the guy's where his colostomy bag opening is and fucking pops him. Peck, peck. He shoots the bag? I'm pretty sure. Or he puts his finger in it and then... What? All right, look, it's a fucked I know up the second one, he the also guy jerks choose, off a of sandpaper. Yeah, he jerks off a of sandpaper in the second one. Third one, the guy has a jar full of fried clits that he chews on. I'm not kidding. Fried? Fried. <laughs> Were they good? <laughs> it was a joke. But not real. No, I'm kidding. It was. So he found it. Hey, who's a nurse? Me. What? Oh, okay. Nurse shoes. Those are common projects. All right. I got two Psych. more here that I think will be perfect to end on. One, I wanted to leave this in 2020, not being able to talk to each other. Hey, guys, we all have different opinions. Let's remember that we can fucking talk to people and hold a conversation Without killing each other. Unless it's Frankie. No, fuck you. (laughs) (laughs) I can fucking hold conversations great, bitch. (laughs) That was perfect. No, I agree. But like, we know people that like, they have an opinion and it's like, it's my opinion. I'm sticking to it. I don't need to talk about it. It's like, 
Well, yeah, we get it. Maybe fucking talk about it a little bit. Yeah, I, I like. I mean, I kind of like Whoa. pride myself on on doing that. I feel like a lot of people during this time, and on on both sides. And let's face it, like most of this is fucking political anyway, because it's the election year, and that's what everyone was talking about when it comes yeah. to this thing. And um, there are people on both sides that I don't really agree with. Like, I don't like the like. This idea that if you vote Republican, you're a racist and like all this that shit. That is the dumbest thing ever. And that if you vote Democrat, crack. <laughs> Democrat! If you vote Democrat, uh, crack. Hunter Biden. Crack it, I think. Uh, but if you vote, <laughs> if you vote Democrat, then oh! you're, you're like a socialist or you want communism or whatever the fuck. Like, it's, it's just so like ridiculous. Like, I don't know. It's, it's just so like annoying. Dumb. And I also just, I, I feel like I know so many people that are. I feel like a lot of things are swayed. Over bullshit. I feel like a lot of people are, uh, like, I feel like I know a lot of people that are like, dude, you sell weed and you're not, like, you dropped out of high school. Like, and now all of a sudden you're like about your community. Like, what the fuck? Like, why am I to believe that? No, I think, I think the issue is like on both sides of the political spectrum, it's like people are so passionate. And they, they like, they watch John Oliver and they fucking, they know Fox News is this and this, this, this. So like, they like, just like, they come ready to just spew facts and just regurgitate everything that they've heard. Yeah. They don't have the opportunity to listen to somebody else. They don't even you know? have their own opinion. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I do think there is some valid conversation in regard to like, there needs to be a certain point where like, you need to express what you value in terms of like, what's important to you. For instance... Like, if you know someone, I'm not saying who, I'm just saying, like, if you know someone is a racist, but uh -huh. they put more money in your pocket, just be upfront and say, hey, I value my money more than I do societal issues. You know what I mean? And racial injustice and stuff like that. Okay. But it's like people will sit there and, and, and kind of hide behind this ability to, you know, just be like, well, it's just my opinion. I don't need to talk about it. I'm allowed to have freedom of speech. I'm allowed to have my opinion. Like, I want people to be able to speak about their fucking opinions again. Instead of sitting there and just, like, everyone, everyone, left, right, up, down, being like, yo, like, you're wrong, I'm right. Like, or just fucking listen to each other. Yeah, I'm cool with, like, disagreeing with people. Like, there's people who I, like, can have conversations with, and I'm like, I just categorically, like, disagree with, like, your priorities or your view yeah. on that. But, like, I, I, I just, like, people who are just, like, have an opinion. Like, I also... One of the things I do when it comes to political conversation, it's like, all right, what do you like? Are you Republican? Are you Democrat? Are you like centrist or whatever the fuck you are? And like, mm -hmm. which things about whatever you identify as do you not agree with? Because if you are on one side of the spectrum where it's like, oh, I'm a Democrat and like anything conservative I don't agree with, or if you're a conservative and you're like, anything that isn't pro conservative, like I just don't believe it. I was like, you're just willing to like live and die by a color. Like I, I can't have a conversation with you. It's not being open minded. Like that's not going to get you anywhere. Mm -hmm. And all I will say is, if you are one of these people that he's talking about and you didn't vote, don't really fucking care what you have to say. Yeah, I just like really don't fucking care what you have to say at all because now it's like you're spewing this shit. You weren't even part of the whole fucking process. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel like. Just have an open mind. Like, just get an understanding of, like, what the, whatever... There was a time, which was not too long ago, where who you voted for and, like, what you identify as, is, as far as, like, politics go, was a very private thing. And now I feel like people, like, need to know what it is. And it's like, I, you know, I don't think that should be the way that it, it happens. I think it should be a private thing. It's like, it's none of anyone's business. But now I feel like... On both sides, people are like, I need to know what you are so I, that I agree. Or where you stand. I agree to a certain extent because, yes, I like I, I think that, like, you know, you don't need to see someone and immediately know where they stand on the political spectrum. No, nah, I'm but not saying that. at the same time, like, there are certain people in your life that, like, if you're close with, like, you can have those fucking conversations. You know what I mean? Like, I remember someone once was talking to me and they were like, remember when you said that, like, political conversations were taboo? And I was like, yeah, they were taboo if you were going to a party of people you didn't know. You know what I mean? But if you've known someone their whole fucking life, you should be able to hold a conversation with them because you know the person that they are, you know? And, and um, I just, that's something I want to leave in 2020. Just like people that can't fucking talk to each other. And I got one more, Joey. I got one more to wrap it up. All right. I want to leave in 2020 this idea that the new year is a fresh start. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's literally the matter of seconds. 
And like, hey, instead of being like, I'm going to wait to 2021 to be a better person, just start whenever you want. Dude, it's like Lent. Oh, I'm going to give up bread for 40 days. <laughs> yeah. It's like, shut the fuck up. Yeah, who gives a fuck? Jesus isn't happy that you, you don't fucking have gluten anymore. <laughs> He's still fucking, he's upset because of the nails through his hand. You know what I mean? Like he's, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Is he not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, forget. I'm, I'm blaspheming right now, aren't I? Well, yeah. <laughs> For sure. Sorry. Not that we've never done that, but that was like. I'm sorry. I mean, uh, but he is, ups- that's not blaspheming if it's true. He's upset about that. I'm sure he was. He was he's he not was, upset about that. I'm sure he was a little bothered. He you was know why he's not upset about that? Because he forgives. He well he does, but it takes him a sec to get there. You know what I mean? He's yeah. like, all right, yeah. you know, like that. He, imagine what he's saying in a room by himself. Like, yeah, he's motherfucking. We need to and jump off of this. <laughs> we need to jump off of this now. But but I'm saying like, people are sitting there and they're like, oh, 2021's coming. It's gonna be so much better than 2020. Guess what? COVID is still a thing. You know what I find interesting? That like New Year is different in different parts of the world. Like. It's like Australia, it's at like 10 a.m. our time. But isn't that weird? Like, isn't that strange that it's like, oh no, it's tomorrow over there? Like, how? like I can't even wrap my mind around yeah, that. Yeah, because you didn't, you didn't attend science classes as a kid. No, I understand, but I'm saying like, but like, why? Because the world moves. But like, no, it's because of this fake time thing that we created. Like time. No, time is different in other parts of the world. It's not though. It is. It's not. I guess. What is Frankie, it? it's not. We're talking about the sun and the moon. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about time. Well, if we're basing time off of it, then But yes. that's what I'm saying. There should just be one universal time. Time, it, time is, you know. You base it off the mind Frankie, calendar. A day, if, like, your whole life is based, like, like time-wise is based off minds. Based off that Mayan. What was that? That's Frankie. That's Captain sir. Frankie Hook? Wow. Dude, awesome comedy bit. So glad I brought him on today. <laughs> Crushed it. That was the one. See you guys next time. No, but <laughs> no, but I'm saying like they're like, I guess it's because <laughs> 1 p.m. here uh-huh. is like what what is it? 12 hour difference in Australia? Some parts of the country. So it's like I mean, 1 a.m. there. World. So I like oh, it can't be 1 p.m. here because like 1 p.m. is associated with like the afternoon and like it's the afternoon. But there it's like in the middle of the night, morning, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Yeah. I just don't get that though. Like, what would be the reason? Like, it's okay if you have a different time. Like, Joey, you're daylight. asking questions I Dude, don't have the answer to. But it's just like weird. It's based off of how. But why do we not all have the same days? Because it's based off of how the Earth rotates and like all that shit. Keith, thank you. I know that. I'm talking. That's what I'm saying. We're not talking about time. We're talking about the sun and the moon. And like, it's dark over there when it's light over here. So like, that's why we made two different times and time zones so that. It, when 1 p.m. is just it's a light out when it's well there's a lot of things that we're saying the time is like you're saying is irrelevant it is we just the champagne and the whiskey is busting right yeah, now yeah it's busting right now that's what's happening but seriously I'm it's moving a little slower time than is I irrelevant. would be hey. it's okay we can just walk away from this I might have to sit down for a couple minutes yeah we're gonna have to sit you down you either way though that or I'm finishing it go ahead that's whiskey just remember that yeah I understand you have anything either way <laughs> Another year down. Another Besides year down. COVID, yeah, Listen, <laughs> for the for the all the fans of the basement yard, we appreciate you guys. It's been a weird year, mm-hmm. um, but thankfully, yo, that's a lot of whiskey that you just shot. Ooh, that's the most unattractive and also attractive thing I've ever seen. Okay, great. Can I put my tongue in that? Can I say something? Yes. <laughs> it's been a weird year. Uh, very thankful that. Uh, you know, we are in a privileged position to be unaffected, you know, as far as like my job, uh, at least Definitely. I can say this because this has like been my job full time for some years now. And like, I was completely unaffected by the, the pandemic. And I know how, you know, people are affected by that. And a lot of people still are watching all the videos, signing up for the Patreon more than I thought would honestly, like way more than I thought would. So I appreciate all the support, even though we're going through a time where, uh, you know, people are you know, going through a rough time. So I appreciate everybody. Just wanted to say that, you know, I appreciate all of your support and thank you guys so much. And that's why like every December we try to do something charitable with the Patreon money to give back in some way and make sure that you guys know that your money is not just being hoarded by me, but also being distributed to people who need it uh, most. And yeah, just wanted to say thank you to everyone. Uh, It's been a, a crazy year. There's been things, you know, happening. Like obviously like, couple months into this year the whole thing with danny happened um but he's doing well i just talked to him yesterday 
and uh, I appreciate Frankie coming on and kind of filling in uh, as best as he can to kind of keep the show alive and you know everything. Keith, thank you for pouring the champagne. It's been great. Um, but yeah, yeah, I wasn't a real big help, but also want to point out 10,000 patrons, Joey has to do an enema. Yes. That's kind of fire. I want to just point that out again. I'll do an enema for 10,000 patrons. You should, that would be fucking awesome. That would be dope. But thank you, everybody. Frankie and does the enema. Appreciate. No, he's not. Yes, I am. Appreciate all of the patrons <laughs> over at patreon.com slash the basement art. If you guys sign up, you get every episode a week ahead, and you get an extra episode every single week. Um, and you can go follow the show at the basement yard on Instagram. Have a happy new year. If you celebrate. If you. you Chinese do. New Year's is different. Jewish New Year's different. Jewish New Year? Yeah. News to me. Yom Kippur or Rosh Hashanah. One of those are the Jewish New Year. Well, either way, we love you guys so much. It's been a weird year. We just, we're happy that we get the opportunity to spread love and make you guys laugh and smile. So thank you for the opportunity, Joey and Keith. Thank you for being here and making me look like less of an idiot. Uh, and no, we did that. You did that yourself. I said the Jesus thing. I'm in trouble <laughs> with a lot of people. He also said the UK thing. Yeah, the UK. They're going to come for me. Yeah. They're going to come for me. Uh, but you guys um, just continue to spread love I love you guys and I'm excited for uh, more time 2021 is going to be a good one <laughs> what was that like he was fake crying I honestly I like most of my inhibitions are very low right now so what about Habiki let's keep drinking. we'll see you guys next yeah. time bye oh fucking yeah